But you're only being so I'll follow the sun Hey guys, it's Madeline here. From the time that I wanted to make this video around like April of this year, I didn't expect my music collection to be so big, but now it's grown to a really large size. So instead of doing one big video about all the CDs and vinyl I, I've collected, I'm going to separate them into two. This first video is going to be talking about my vinyl collection. 2019, I did get my first vinyl player and vinyl. My first record player was this uh, cheap uh, discontinued USB port. I also got a pair of speakers. Uh, they're Edifier bookshelf speakers that I'm showing on the screen right now. I am just going to share a few things in this video. So I am going to be sharing the date that I got the album, where I got the album, about how much I got the album, but I'm also going to be sharing my favorite and least favorite songs as well as a song that I think is underrated. And as for the first vinyl that I got, I got uh, the Help by the Beatles. Now this album, when I first got my vinyl player, I was actually visiting my grandparents in Arizona and they were actually the ones that gave me this player. And I was going through this place, Bookman's, which is this really cool uh, secondhand book sh bookshop in Arizona. And um, I was just looking through the vinyl and it didn't have a very good selection of vinyl. I remember this was like one of two or three good albums there. And this was the only album that I really wanted on vinyl. As for my favorite song, that would obviously be Help. That's my favorite Beatles song in the entire world and then I mean it again obvious least favorite song act natural as for an underrated song I'm gonna have to go with I need you by Harrison it's just become one of my favorite albums by the Beatles and anyone really up next on the chopping block we have KG Elephants tell me I'm pretty I got this at Barnes and Noble my favorite song on this album would have to be too late to say goodbye and my least favorite is definitely that's right how are you two is definitely another underrated song by KG Elephant I guess the next album I bought was the Queen is dead by the Smiths I actually got two albums at the same place which is gonna be the same with a few of these vinyl I got this vinyl at a vintage shop down in downtown of my city Favorite song, obviously, there is no, there is a light that never goes out. That's my favorite Smith song. Least favorite song is gonna have to be Some Girls Are Bigger Than Others. There are so many underrated songs on this album, but I think if I have to choose one, Never Had No One Ever, the groove is amazing, just like it was on I Need You. The only Smith album I actually like. The same day I got the Smiths, I also got The Beatles' Hard Day's Night. Now this does look different from the actual album, because even though the shop did tell me this was an original Beatles album, this is actually the first vinyl of the album that was released in the US. Not very good condition, the sleeve is completely ripped and there's a lot of surface surface noise. Based on the songs that are actually on this record and not the actual record that you're most familiar with, my favorite song would have to be I'm Happy Just to Dance With You and my least favorite probably And I Love Her instrumental, I guess. There aren't really, there isn't really an underrated song on this album. I mean, it is Beatles we're talking about. I'll Cry Instead, I guess. The next album by the Beatles I got was Rubber Soul. This is my favorite Beatles record ever. Just just saying that for one. This record I got at Barnes & Noble again. My favorite song would have to be In My Life, typical answer, but what are you gonna do? Least favorite song, again, typical What Goes On, just no one really likes the Ringo songs as much as anything else. Underrated song is most definitely Wait. I love that song more than more than you would know, and it's even in my like top 20 Beatles songs. About that, check the description to view my medium. I'm going to be posting that that list soon if you want to go check it out. The next record I got was also a Beatles album, surprisingly, uh, Revolver. I was actually debating which record I want. I was at Barnes & Noble buying this, this item. I went up to the store clerk and I said, hey, should I buy Social Cues or Revolver? And immediately he was like, Revolver, totally Revolver. Beatles are the best band ever. Best decision ever. Favorite song on this album, another typical one, Eleanor Rigby, who could say no to that one? But an underrated song is most definitely for no one. That's my fifth or sixth favorite Beatles song of all time. And I never hear anyone talk about it at all. 
Least favorite song would have to be Love You Too. I'm just not a huge fan of the trippy Indian Harrison moments. The next two albums were also gotten at the same place on the same day, but this one is Help a Stranger by the Rackin Tours. Of course I had to pick up this album. This is probably my favorite record record that I reviewed this year besides Velvet Starlings. I got this one at a local record store down in downtown of my city again. Different ones from the vintage one though. Fun fact, this is also the first vinyl I've owned while owning the CD at the same time. <laughs> favorite song on the record, Help Me Stranger. Least favorite song is hard to say just because I love all of these songs, but I'm gonna have to say Thoughts and Prayers just because I'm not familiar with it. I don't really know about an underrated song either. Only Child is really good. I hear a lot of people trash talk that one. Again, the other album I bought with Help a Stranger is with the Beatles. <laughs> Whoever says that the old Beatles were inferior to the new Beatles, how dare. Favorite song on this album, Sorry, all my loving. Love Paul numbers. Not a second time. It is calling you on the phone. And I look at my home. Leave me alone. Don't bother me. Least favorite song, probably gonna have to be You Really Got a Hold On Me. Really hard choices here. I feel like this entire album is underrated. But if I had to choose one song, it would have to be Money, That's What I Want. Probably my favorite cover by the Beatles besides Twist and Shout. And my second album by Third Man Records, and I just want to break and say that Third Man Records makes the most gorgeous vinyl I have ever seen in my life, especially with Help a Stranger. Unfortunately, I bought this from a third party, and even though it was sealed like they promised, there was a lot of static buildup on this record. And being the White Stripes with the raw guitars and there's not a lot of background noise behind the guitars and drums, it becomes very noticeable on this record. But this is still my favorite record by the White Stripes. Favorite song is gonna have to be We're Gonna Be Friends. So many typical songs with these vinyl. Least favorite song gonna have to be This Protector. Underrated song. I said it before, my ranking of the White Stripes albums, it is most definitely Little Room is d just no, no joke, Little Room is top five, top five White Stripes song. I'm not, just go listen to Little Room and then tell me what you think. And the newest vinyl that I have is of course Yellow Submarine, because if you know me at all, you will know that I joke about this song a lot. I have a Lego Yellow Submarine, I have a Hot Wheels Yellow Submarine, and now I have a Vinyl Yellow Submarine, and I'm very proud of myself. I actually bought this on the same day that I was supposed to have a choir rehearsal for the Christmas concert, and I was so scared that someone was going to drop their backpack on it and break it, which almost happened. Very glad it didn't. I was just sit I was just standing there up on the stage just watching this vinyl just don't don't break it, don't break it, don't break it. And it's actually in very good condition. This is also a Beatles record that was not the original pressing, but it was the first pressing that was released in the US. Fun fact, despite being one of the original pressings, it was actually like $10 cheaper than the new version of the album. And might I remind you, it's in amazing condition. Favorite song on this album, Hey Bulldog. You should know that if you already know me. Least favorite song, yeah. Least favorite song is All You Need Is Love. I hate this song with a burning passion. As for an un underrated song, it's all too much. It's just amazing. Pretty much listen to all of the songs on side one of this album. They're all pretty much amazing songs, except for All You Need Is Love. I did order another vinyl that is that I'm currently waiting for in the mail. So yeah, that is my vinyl collection as of the 6th of December 20, 2019. I'm gonna go edit this video and get ready to post my CD collection which is gonna be even longer. So if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to see when that next video comes out. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. Remember to play it loud.